The Lansingburg community is still on edge following last month's arsons. Police tonight say they have several suspects, but not enough evidence to make an arrest. Brandon Lewis is live in Lansingburg, where the community met to discuss the fires. Brandon, what can you tell us? Well, Jenny, the fires tonight, certainly a hot topic, but so were a number of other code enforcement issues. See, all the fires happened at vacant homes, so the community members are hoping that by addressing some of these smaller issues, it can help prevent their neighborhood from becoming attractive to criminals. Has additional attention been being paid to the alleyways? Peggy Koenig lives just a block away from where six suspicious fires started and wants to do her part to keep the community safe. We're very vigilant. We see something in the alleyway, we call DPW and make sure it gets picked up. We can't stop an arsonist, but we can take away some of his fuel. She and a dozen others at this Lansingburg neighborhood watch meeting are part of a monthly effort to raise awareness about crime trends like the fire. Hopefully we've seen the end of it, um, but with time comes, comes, a, comes a solution. So just uh, we, we, we implore people to be patient. Be vigilant, be aware, and uh, and share and report information. The police chief says while fires may be the big talker, other crimes are actually spiking stats. Crime is really being driven by larcenies. Um, the violent crime certainly um, got a lot more notoriety or larceny from vehicles, um, certainly stolen vehicles. So what we're going to do is try and engage the communities, go out and placard cars. They've done these in other areas and they had great success with it. And Koenig hopes all the attention will also convince more neighbors to join in the fight against crime. Where we need a little bit more participation is with the community themselves. We have to take responsibility for looking out for our own neighborhoods. And the chief says the investigation into those arsons is still underway. They interviewed a suspect earlier this afternoon and ruled them out, but they still have five others that they're looking at. The chief also saying they're working to put more officers back on the streets here in Troy by reducing non-emergency support calls such as prisoner transports. We're live in Lansingburg, Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News.